सो मैसन गैन फॉर्मूला सो हेयर टी इक्वल टू सामेसन ऑफ जी के डेल के डिवाइडेड बाई डेल हेयर टी रिप्रेजेंट्स ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एंड डेल रिप्रेजेंट्स वन माइनस साम ऑफ ऑल इंडिविजुअल लूप गेन प्लस साम ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल गेन प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ टू नॉन टचिंग लूप माइनस साम ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल गेन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ थ्री नॉन टचिंग लूप एंड नेक्स्ट विल बी फोर नॉन टचिंग लूप एंड सो वन एंड जी के इज द गेन ऑफ द के फॉरवर्ड पार्ट एंड डेल के इज द पार्ट ऑफ डेल नॉट टचिंग द के फॉरवर्ड पार्ट सो नाउ वी कंसीडर टू एग्जांपल एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व बाय यूजिंग मैसिन गेन फॉर्मूला एंड फाइन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो वेन आई सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम यू इजीली रिलेटेड दिस विद दिस फॉर्मूला सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so consider this is one signal flow graph so we want to find c by r means transfer function so first of all in first step in step 1 we find the gain of the forward path so according to the mason gain formula we represent g the forward part that's why you consider g so from graph you see that here g1 g2 g3 g4 into 1 so by using this path we can easily reach the output so this is one forward part means g1 g2 g3 g4 okay this is one for our part so and find there is one another for our part means if we starting from here r1 r then 1 then g1 and we take this root g5 you can easily reach the output so this is another for our part means G one and G five. So only two forward path, nothing else there. So step one, we find the forward path. In step two, we find individual loop. you can easily see that this one one loop this is one loop this is one loop so sorry we have to draw the signal flow direction so this is one loop this is one loop this is one loop 3 and this is one loop if we consider this this will be not loop because it goes forward when we backward there will be not matching the signals that why we cannot take as a loop so we write loop one by one for this loop l1 means minus g1 h1 loop 2 will be this one minus g3 h2 loop 4 this one loop g1 g2 and minus h3 this one loop So minus g1, g3, h3, and l4 will be self loop. Loop. This means minus h4. So in step one we find forward path. Step two we find individual loop, and step four we find two non-touching loops. So in step three. two non touching loop here you see that this loop and this loop non touching because they do not share a same node that's why we consider this one will be non touching loop this gives l1 and this is l2 so we can find l1 l2 
and multiply we get q1 g3 h1 h2 next this loop and this loop will be non touching so we can write l1 and l4 means g1 h1 h4 and this loop also non touching with this loop so we can write l2 l4 g3 h2 h4 last this loop means l3 also non touching with the l4 loop l3 l4 so that will be g1 g2 g3 h3 h4 so we can find two non touching loop next we have to find three non touching loop after that we have to find four non touching loop and so on so in next step four find three non touching loop So you can see that this L1, L2 and L4 will be non-touching loop. So L1, this one, this one, this one, non-touching loop. So we can easily write L1, L2 and L4. That will be multiplication after multiply again we can find L1, L2, L4 equal to G1, H1, G3, H2 and H4. Now you see that nothing only one three non touching loops if we consider this one this one and this one it will be not happen because they say are same loop node okay now consider there is four non touching loop so it, four non touching loop is not possible because these already say are one node that's why you cannot consider the four non touching loop now consider that del 1 del k del k which means the part of del not touching the kth forward path here if we consider first forward path that g1 g2 g3 g4 you see that all the loops are on the same forward path that's why it will be for the first for the first forward path we denoted del 1 so there will be 1 minus the formula will be what is formula 1 minus sum of all individual loop gain plus sum of product of two non touching then three non touching and so on so one minus the part of non touching loop in that not touch the forward path here for this first forward path g1 g2 g3 g4 you see that all the loops are connected the forward path that's why this will be zero so del one only will be one and second del two 1 minus for del 2 means second forward path that g1 g5 if we consider this forward path g1 and g5 you see that this loop is not connected in the forward path okay so if we consider the second path g1 g5 you see that l1 l3 l4 all connected at the second forward path but this loop is not connected to the second forward path that's why we can write 1 minus of formula sum of all individual loop game only l2 that's why minus g3 h2 g3 h2 and plus multiplication of gain of two non touching loop there will be no that's why all are zero so 1 plus g3 h2 now coming to del del means 1 minus individual loop gain sum of individual loop gain here we 4 
loops that's why we consider l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 plus sum of all possible gain product of two non touching loop here there will be four non touching loop that's why l1 l2 plus l2 a4 plus l1 l4 plus l3 l4 and next minus sum of all possible gain products of three non touching loops here we can get one non touching loop l1 l2 l3 so minus l1 l2 l4 so we get del k del g now we write the final expression that is mean c by r c by r will be g1 del 1 plus g2 del 2 and del this is the final transfer function so you can easily substitute you know g1 del 1 g2 del 2 and del substitute this and you get the answer